What is the best and brightest H11 LED bulb? In this video, we're gonna answer those questions. If you still feel like we're missing something from this test, go ahead and drop a comment below so that we know what to look into next time we do some filming. Today, we've got the SNGL, we've got Philips, we've got Hikari, we've got VLEDs, Headlight Experts, Op7, GTR Lighting, Morimoto, we've got something called Car Sparkle, we've got JDM A-Star, Novsight, Diode Dynamics, pretty much everything that anybody's ever said, hey, what do you think about this brand of bulbs we've got in front of us? And today, we're gonna figure out what's the best. First, we'll test on a projector headlight, then on a reflector headlight. Stay tuned till the end, where we show you the total combined results of all testing. We're gonna first test these LED headlight bulbs in a projector headlight from a Toyota 4Runner. Now this is a halogen projector low beam headlight, but it doesn't really matter if you have, say, a Chevy Silverado or a Toyota Tacoma. Any of the characteristics that allow these bulbs to do well in this projector headlight should allow them to do well in pretty much any halogen projector headlight. When we tested all 25 LED headlight bulbs, the one that came out on top for this projector headlight was the GTR Lighting Ultra 2. This thing came in 400% brighter than the original halogen headlight bulb. The next brightest bulb in the entire lineup was the SV4. This is already a crowd favorite, and in this test, it came in at 347% brighter than stock. Not quite as bright as the GTR bulb, but it's definitely a good option. It's no surprise to me that the third brightest option was the F3. Now, this bulb you can get from a variety of different brands, and they all come from the same place in China. It is a small body bulb with an extremely bright LED and a very small heatsink. Even though it's bright, it has a big problem. It's totally unbalanced. The amount of heat this ultra bright LED assembly makes overpowers the cooling capacity of this heatsink. The whole thing is anodized with black. And one of these we had running for one hour. And in just an hour, the bulb got so hot that the black anodized coating literally burned off. I can guarantee you, you're gonna have similar results running this kind of a bulb on your own vehicle. Who knows what kind of damage could be caused or the inconvenience of having to constantly swap out burnt up defective LED bulbs. So even though this bulb was one of the brightest in the bunch, I can't recommend it for anybody to actually use. The F3 came in at 315% brighter than the original halogen bulb. From there, the increase in brightness dropped significantly. The next brightest bulb out of all 25 was the Xenon Depot Extreme LED Pro. This bulb came in at 221% brighter than stock. It's high quality and definitely a good option. The fifth brightest bulb for a projector headlight in the entire lineup was the Diodynamics SL1, coming in at 210% brighter than stock. This bulb is the only one out of everything we tested that's made in the USA. It's super high quality, it fit the Forerunner headlight, which is a challenge in and of itself, had a good beam pattern, and it was twice as bright as the original halogen. Everything below the Diodynamics SL1 came in at less than 200% brighter. So it's definitely a stark difference if you go with anything that's not on the table. You're gonna see two really weird things happen. Number one, the exact same bulbs in the reflector headlight will be brighter than this projector test. That just goes to show that one bulb can work really well in one housing and really poorly in another. So what we're really looking for here are the top bulbs that do well in both types of headlights. Next up is our reflector headlight testing. 
Interesting thing you're gonna see is the results in this test from the 2019 Ram 1500 reflector headlight are way brighter than that last projector headlight. And that's actually really common with LED headlight bulbs. So don't think about the numbers in terms of lux, because that's not really important. You cannot duplicate our lux measurements at home because we're in a different space, we're using different tools, we have different ambient lighting and different surfaces. What I want you to pay attention to is the increased brightness. My increased brightness that I test here today should be the same as your experience with increased brightness as well. The first one is the GTR Lighting Ultra 2. This thing came in at 709% brighter than the original halogen light bulb. That is insane. This little guy uses a state-of-the-art LED chipset. It uses the best fan in the industry for cooling and the wiring and driver are second to none. No surprise here, the next brightest bulb in the lineup was the F3 coming in at 546% brighter, but we still have the same problem. This is not a reliable bulb. They built it completely out of balance and the heat sink can't handle the amount of heat this thing makes. It's a recipe for disaster in anything you install it on. So yes, it's bright. It's got a good beam pattern, but it's still a waste of time. When testing the SV4 in the projector headlight, it came in second place. And in this test with the reflector headlight, it came in third a little bit under the F3. The SV4 comes in at 500% brighter than stock, and you don't have those crazy cooling problems that the F3 has. It's stable, it's high quality, and it's proven to work. The SV4 is a great option for all reflector headlights. The fourth brightest bulb in our reflector headlight test was this one from SNGL. And we didn't just go buy what we knew would be the worst LED headlight bulb from this company. We bought what looked like it might be the best and put it to the test. This thing came in at 434% brighter than stock. Not quite as good as the top three, but definitely a notable contender. In general, it seems like it's well built, has a lot of the same characteristics as the GTR Lighting Ultra 2, but not quite as bright. Coming in a hair under the SNGL bulb in the reflector headlight test was the Diodynamics Made in America SL1. Coming in at 396% brighter than the original halogen bulb. This thing, as I said before, is super high quality and will be a great option for any project. take all the brightness results from the projector headlight and all the brightness results from the reflector headlight and average them together in the best and brightest bulbs for the entire test, we're left with these 10. These are the top 10 brightest LED headlight bulbs you can get today. Now, there's two on the table that I absolutely would never recommend to my worst enemy. One of them practically burns itself to death, and the other one is built so poorly you're guaranteed to be replacing it constantly. I can already see the comments now. For the price of the ones you do recommend, I can buy four or five of the cheaper ones. And you're right, you could go that route if that's what you need to do, but you're really gonna regret that decision when the one that practically lights itself on fire is constantly burning out and you get a ticket because you got a headlight out. Or the other one that's built so poorly it's guaranteed to fail and you're constantly replacing your light bulbs, pulling off your bumper, going to Amazon and doing RMA requests after RMA request. I'm telling you, these ones that I recommend are going to make your life better and easier. The GTR Lighting Ultra 2 came out on top on both individual tests, so it's no surprise it's on the top of the overall test. The F3 
tied for second and third place on both tests, but it's not designed right. This thing's literally gonna melt itself until it doesn't work anymore. The SV4 was constantly in the top three, and it's a channel favorite. Everybody knows that that's a solid bulb. This newcomer from SNGL was a surprise because it's built really well, just as well as some of the other products out here, and it held its own in the brightness comparison. The Dow Dynamics SL1 is a crowd favorite as well. Made in America, super high quality. You really can't go wrong at that price and that brightness. The Morimoto Two Stroke, one of the most famous bulbs in the world, is obviously in this list. The Novsight bulb, this red one here, came out in the top 10, and I absolutely can't recommend this one either. It's not built right, it has cheap construction, and there's no external driver to warrant that amount of light. This thing is guaranteed to give you all kinds of problems down the road. The Xenon Depot Extreme LED Pro, I was actually a little bit surprised at how well it did in the projector headlight. It's built well, it's super reliable, and it's gonna fit any application, reflector, or projector. Although it may not be the brightest bulb, I'm a big fan of the VLED's Micro Evolution. Its construction and style is top notch. And of course, you have the GTR Lighting CSP Mini if you need something super small with a decent punch at a good price. What we're left with are these eight bulbs. If you buy something that's on the table in front of me, you're gonna be happy. The GTR Lighting Ultra 2 and the SV4 are constantly coming out on our tests. Those are really the best of the best. These three in the middle are a great option for if you want something that's fairly bright and still reliable. The three down here are the brightest of the least bright headlights. They're good options, they've got solid construction, and they're significantly brighter than stock. If you have any questions about which one of these eight would be best for your next project, we'd love to talk to you. We have a huge database on which bulbs work the best in different headlights, and of course, we do the testing. If you like this video, please check out the rest of our videos on our channel because chances are there's something else you're gonna like there too. All we do is test and install and you're guaranteed to learn something from Headlight Revolution.